Walt and Jesse cope with the fallout of last season's cliffhanger, and tension mounts between Walt and Gus. This is my review of season four of Breaking Bad. Yeah, so you guys know how I feel about Breaking Bad already and how I feel about the past seasons, about how they're incredible, excellent, awesome, marvelous. I mean, and season four does that again. I mean, it's on a roll. The good points. Yet again, the main good point about this season of Breaking Bad is the writing. I mean, um, man, the writing in this season from Vince Gilligan and the writing staff was like magnificent I mean it just was because it, it was like because they put out like some of the most tense episodes of the season and I thought that the writing helped with that like a lot because of um storylines like intersecting with sub stories and how they affect each other and what the consequences are of um those um, intersections and uh, I thought that um, the writers did a good job of even more character of more um, character development with um, Walt and Jesse chemistry and with Gus as well because we get to know why um, like he wants like revenge and why he um, like or um should I say how he got into like the drug business and everything we know like we get to see his backstory and everything which I find to be like cool and like I said in the um past um reviews for Breaking Bad that the realism is like um fantastic also I mean yeah the writing does play into that as well because like this is something that um Walt or Jesse or Skyler or anybody like in this scene would say in this situation and it is like holy crap man because the re like the tension um like in some of the scenes throughout some of the episodes adds to that realism and everything and it, it's just good the final good points that i want to speak about are the directors um that directed uh this season's episodes and the soundtrack i mean both were equally good i mean the soundtrack went with, um, like, was synced with, like, some of the scenes, and it, it was just good, and the directors did an incredible job of directing, of, like, showing, um, the situations and everything, I mean, just good. So, bad points of Breaking Bad Season 4? Um, no, not at all. So, what do I give Breaking Bad Season 4? I give it 4 out of 4 stars. I mean, it, like seriously guys, like this is like one of the best TV series that I'll probably see in my lifetime. I mean, it, I mean, I think that it's either this season of Breaking Bad or the um, fifth and final season of Breaking Bad that I like the most, but... And I flip-flop between them, but right now I think that Season 4 of Breaking Bad is the best season ever. Alright, the spoiler section of Breaking Bad. Okay, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, just gather now. I mean, major spoilers come up, guys. I mean, you do not want to know them because you guys need to experience this, like I said in my past reviews, and just get out of here now. I'm begging of you. Yeah, so the first episode, like, had a lot of tension in it because it's like, holy crap, Gail is dead. It's like, what's going to happen to Walt and Jesse now? And the employee of Gus, um, Mike, Walt and Jesse are down in the lab, and the employee of um, Gus is uh, making meth the way that Walt does. And when Gus comes, it's like everybody's silent, and... Uh, Walt is trying to talk his way out, but Gus is not talking, and then he gets, like, the razor, and uh, suddenly, out of nowhere, um, he slits the throat of his employee, and it's like, what the heck? And he just, like, grabs onto, 
like the person while he's struggling and it's like after he's dead he that just drops um the employee and like like he dr he got into like this um hazmat suit and after he slit the person's throat he got out of the suit and went back upstairs and he says get back to work and it's like holy crap man and like i said i liked how um the there was um character development for Gus in this season like he, like more character development like the most um he's ever gotten it, like throughout the series because this is his final season because he dies um but um <laughs> but um yeah like we get to see his backstory and get to see like why he wants his revenge on the um cartel and like the main people of the cartel. And the reason that he wants to get his revenge is because um, when they were having a meeting back um, when um, Gus was starting out to be a um, drug dealer, uh, like his brother was with him at the time and uh, the three people that, that were there were um, the, the um, first person that he killed in um, season three and the other two were um, the cartel leader, I think and um uh Hector yeah so they're there and his brother is talking and out of nowhere um you see um Hector like getting up like just to like maybe get a drink or something but no he comes like to the side of um Hector of um not Hector's brother but um of Gus's brother and he shoots him in the head and Gus is like surprised because he's like like, and I was like, why did you kill him for? What's the point? And, um, I still don't know why, uh, Gus's brother got killed. I think it was just to send a message, I think, but I'm not, like, entirely sure. But if you know, put, um, put a comment in the comments just to tell me why did, uh, Gus's brother die. And I have to mention this because I'm a huge fan of Breaking Bad and if I don't mention this, people are going to be like, Oh man, you're not a fan. But I have to mention the, um, the, um, yeah, the line that Walt says in this season, which was, Skyler, I'm not in danger. I am the danger. I am the one who knocks. Yeah, that is my Heisenberg impression. <laughs> Hope you guys like that. And the final thing I have to say for the spoiler section is that the last few episodes of the season are like extremely intense, like so intense that I was, yeah, I was like this, like, oh no, 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 don't do that, no. And then this it was like the confrontations between Jesse and Walt because um Jesse thinks that Walt um poisoned Brock poisoned um Brock, which is Andrea's um son. And um, Walt says that he didn't, and it's like, um, Walt gives this, like, like great excuse, and, um, and, it, like, I believe them along with Jesse, but, um, yeah, it turns out in the end that Walt, like, really did poison Brock, but not with ricin, but it was with, like, this flower or something. And when I, like, um, realized that, I was like, holy crap. Walt is like a bit crazy. Oh my god. Another scene I want to talk about is like um when uh Gus and his two men go to meet Jesse at the um chapel at the hospital and then when Gus and his guys are going back into the um parking garage, um Walt is on a um on a roof of another building just waiting for Gus is getting there so we can blow up the car, but Gus is like, hmm, this seems interesting. Like, when he's walking up to the car, like, something suspicious. Like, and he goes over to the railing of the um, parking garage and looks over at the other building and starts, like, like, turn his head, like, back and forth, like, at, like, knowing that, like, something's wrong. And then Walt's like, no, 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 no. And then I was like, hold and it was like really tense and I was like oh no and then the final scene I want to talk about is um the scene between Hector and Gus and 
well, you know, the bombing. <laughs> because it, it was like, it, it was a bit obvious of like um, what Walt's intention was when he went to the um, nursing home and meeting with Hector. Like he, like, like we knew in a way that Walt wanted um, Hector to kill Gus with a bomb somehow. But yeah, when Hector started to like ring that bell and Gus looks down and he's like, Ah! And then it's like outside shot in the hallway. It blew up, and I was like, "Oh my God, Gus is dead!" But then I, when I saw Gus like coming out of the room, I was like, "I was like, holy crap, no way! How is how do you survive?" But yeah, he didn't survive. Like when the camera pans around, it's like half is half his face is gone. Like it's like skeleton, like right here, skeleton and like muscle you could see. And then all of a sudden he slumps down and he's dead and it's like, holy crap, Gus is dead. Yeah, so that's my um, review for season four of Breaking Bad. It was a crazy review, I bet you. Um, but yeah, anyways, Breaking Bad season four, um, like I said, I flip flop between seasons four and five, but I, I think um, season four is the best season. And other than that, that's it.